Check this out, these look delicious. They're kind of blocking the sidewalk. You know, even in the book, In Defense of Food, I think he might have said it that... Actually, no. It was a website. They said that even the Greeks won't eat. Even the Mediterranean diet people, whoever that is, won't touch, won't eat the raw almond. I'm having my doubts about that, because I don't think they're bad. And foreigners tend to eat weird. I really have my doubts. I'd be willing to say that you don't eat raw olives fast. Okay, but just not eating raw olives. That's that's hard to believe. Saw palmetto? This looks like saw palmettos. I'll just pick a couple here. These are bigger than the ones I've... Try it. Okay, it's the palm frond, not the fan. not the fan. We got clear differences. The first one tasted rotten. These this might be rotten actually. Yeah, they have a taste a rotten taste. They look rotten too. Odd uh, black. That's odd. So I finally have found enough privacy where I can actually clean out my car. Um, and in particular, it's on a Sunday because I think the daycare would have a bunch of people coming in, in and out doing their business. But yeah, on a Sunday, it's pretty decent. So hopefully I can find my iPod, the, my mini, mini iPod. I uh, haven't been able to find that for months. Alright, so I never gave this much thought before, but... I can use this as a human-powered blow machine. So, oh, yeah. this thing's broken. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right. So, just kind of get in there. Just kind of. Get in there and and blow. That yeah. All right. So once again, I've been able to comfortably clean everything up. Now I'm I'm happy with uh, the dusting. I removed more mat m uh, fabric material from the car that was that came with the car on the passenger side, about this much, and then put the tarp in its place. But yeah, I'm able to clean. There's only been a few people that went by. Uh, I dusted this. Um, I think mosquitoes are getting in through there. And they're currently getting in through here because I never had a problem with mosquitoes before. Uh, the, the car accident where that guy rammed my car. So, yeah, I think it's clean enough inside. And I got quite a bit of trash to toss, of course. And I found my little iPod. That little iPod that was missing for months. It's, yeah, right here. <laughs> Original main gate location, probably for the Air Force. And they just got it all covered in. Windows, door. <clears throat> and they still keep a sign up, an old sign, but the view blocker looks new, this green lattice. Oh, maybe it's... Maybe it's a property for the Coast Guard. Warning, U.S. Coast Guard property authorized personnel only. Entry consent means consent to search. Once again, it's another pretty old sign. 
and I don't know, it's has something to do with I got an electrical box that's humming so there's electricity coming to this is that a camera? off limits US government property <clears throat> substation H it's so strange it really doesn't look like it's being used in any serious manner but they got the the security warnings up for it So this area is manicured, but it doesn't take much effort anyway because the grass is up there. There's no sign of life. So you got all this housing and no one can live in it because they've declared it to be an asbestos cancer threat. And these are like a hundred homes. Quite peaceful. That's too hard. I can just imagine that this area used to be highly populated and very active. And then the government just pulls out. Okay, up to that water tower. I bet that's the trail, but they're saying no trespassing. You know, with this asbestos problem, I wouldn't even think it would need much asbestos or insulation because of the stable temp well somewhat stable temperatures to be expected